<laughs> There's one thing, because you get on the microphone briefly, and this mm-hmm. one jumped out at me. Twice you say, instead of wrestler, WWF superstar. Now, is this yeah. a directive that Vince had told you to say, avoid the word wrestler? So even back in 95, yes. you were told certain words not to say. Yeah. Well, we were superstars. You know, we weren't wrestlers. We were WWF superstars, which I would later throw up to Vince uh, when the whole pay dispute thing came <laughs> up. You know, the, the 6400. I said, you want me to go out and talk and brag about and dress like a WWF superstar uh, and then pay me 68 or $6,400 over four months. So there's something incongruous here. You know, <laughs> one, one of these things doesn't belong here. And, uh, but yeah. And as I watched it last night, in my head, I had sort of sanitized a lot of that out. The promo itself tells me that if it weren't word for word written for me, it was things that I know that either Vince or Vince Russo or somebody wanted that character to say, because you, the fans have seen enough of my promos. I don't talk like that. Um, you know, you know, he's going to fail his test and, uh, you know, this ring is my classroom and, you know, those types of things, which ironically was in one of the first promos I did I, in my entire career, even now I'm, I'm used to looking into a camera lens, you know, and just sort of this non nondescript lens, you're not looking at anybody. And I walk into the <clears throat> promo room, you know, that those booths set up. And I see, looking back at me, this big television screen of me, which, you know, makes you know, okay, which way do I look better? Uh, which, well, my hair's messed up on that side. So I'll turn, are any boogers hanging out of my nose? Is my teeth all clean? You, know, you become very self-conscious because of that. And they give me the countdown. I disappear. Screen is black. And as I get ready to start the promo, some words start coming up. I'm like, whoa, whoa what, what's that? And I remember the first line. It was... uh uh, Raise Ramon, you're nothing but a, a, a street uh, street thug. Well, that ring is my class, or when I get you in there, I'm going to teach you a lesson. And I started, oh, I'm not fucking saying that. That's stupid. It's uh, And uh, and Russo had just walked in, and he went, uh, but, you know what? Dean doesn't need a script. But I would still do these things, and I would see myself. I wouldn't see the black screen. I'd see a picture of me looking back at me, which it, 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 if you're not used to that, it really throws you. Um so yeah, so we do the promo and I, that jumped out of me uh, really, and I had not watched that match one time since then. That was the first I watched it. I, I told you Moose was saying like, you know, he's working right. Then Bob was in the ring. I'm going, no, you. Well, where do you see him? And, you know, he's talking, and all of a sudden they play the well, music. Sounds familiar. And I see man. Wait, B. It's um. At first I meant like I'm wrestling Bob. I, I don't remember wrestling Bob when I was there. Um, but yeah, the, it, it uh. More than my memory recollects of me plugging in you know, superstars and and the ring is my classroom and you're going to fail my test and you know, blah that cornbally crap. Uh, I, I I in my head I had not done any of that. You know I, I you know did it a different way. I guess in looking back at it and seeing it for the first time in all these decades, uh, I I did do more of that. You know, and as I recall, there was a obviously when you go to work for somebody new, you want to make that employer happy, right? You want to give them what they want. And so I was trying to, if you watch the delivery, there's, there's tinges of franchise in there, but he doesn't look like the franchise. And so like his outward demeanor was a bit different, uh, but I, I could see like the, the, this like sort of mixing of the two characters.